One of the things that anyone that's watched my vlogs will know is that I had a process for um, figuring out where duplicate parts were in your inventory, which drawers they were in. And it was kind of a bit of a manual process, but it seemed like it was a good process, wherein that I would export this Brickstore file to Bricklink and then flick backwards and forwards between the two files identifying where I didn't have a um, remark for the draw that it was in and then look within my inventory to find it and populate that before cancelling that first mass export and then uploading a second one with all the remarks correct. Now someone commented on a video of how to make that so much easier and I've been doing that the last couple of days and I thought I should share that because it is such a shortcut which probably everybody knew but I didn't. So here we are with our brick store file um, populated with a whole lot of parts. You've done your um, pricing. Let's just uh, run some pricing on this. Let's just go with a current inventory um, average and see how that rolls. There we go. And then what you do is you have to make sure you select all and you need to have your inventory open. So this little tab here, and if you don't have that active because the default doesn't come with it, go into the preferences for Brickstore and add it to your menu bar. But you click that and it will import your Brickstore inventory, all of it, which given the current um, situation where we've just come out of brick link being down it's not a bad thing to have so over here on the pane you can see i've got my store inventory and we've got my upload so as i said select all so apple a or file well however you do it i don't know how you do it anyway select it all there's all the parts selected and you go up to edit all the way down to copy values from document and then this secondary window comes up and it shows you the other files that you have open so that's the one that we've just downloaded select that click next and it will give you the option to modify the merge values of that i'm not suggesting you do anything different um, if you're going to do anything do it manually in the actual bsx file finish that and all of the remarks have been added, leaving you with gaps where, for instance, this one, you don't have anything in there. Now, I know that those parts live in draw 202, so that's all right for me. But equally, if you needed to flick between your inventory on Bricklink and vice versa to find common parts, depending on how you do your filing, so for instance, hinge plate locking two fingers end. What I need to do is then head into my Bricklink file, head to store inventory, find hinge plate, and then scroll through here till you find the relevant part, which should be in here somewhere, hinge plate. It's never where you think it'll be. Hinge plate, right. Let's just flick back between the two to get the naming convention right. So we're looking for 54657 part. It is a hinge plate one by two with seven teeth. One by two, seven teeth with or without bottom groove is the big question there. Didn't think of that one. This one is without bottom groove for those people that are um, differentiating the points. So as you can see, all of those parts are in D175. Uh, so back to the file, 175 and so on. Uh, all of those leaf plates uh, pieces are in the same file. Not sure where the bright light blue is, but anyway, that's the gist of it. Then obviously you select all and you do your file export mass upload as you normally would and that's it saves you so much time um, so thank you for the comment on my video i forget who it was that left it but um genius move i'm so glad i uh, 
investigated a little bit further because I have saved so much time in my day. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, please like and subscribe to make sure you stay up to date with all the latest tips and of course the vlogs from the store and I will we'll catch you next time.